Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we are back with another Let's Play Franchise Mode episode. And uh, oh, what's that? What's that? Many guests think the tickets are on the price. That is a long while since I had that one, actually. So I wonder how much can we uh, ask for our ticket prices? That's actually a good point. I think I'm just gonna go for 44 already. And hopefully, what are you guys doing here? Uh, <laughs> what was that? I'm curious if they will uh, turn around because the tickets are overpriced. Did they? No, they did not. I don't know. It's a very busy uh, entrance right over here, but I think we are good to... Oh my goodness, there are so many people here. Oh my god, yeah. This is uh, quite uh, a mess, and I think that's because I <laughs> made the amount of guests higher. Hopefully they will spread more in a later stage, so like we will see the guest walking to different areas. Someone commented on the video like the Jaguars are not being able to reach. Well, uh, there are a lot of guests here, so I think they're good to go. Let's have a look. Right, we have uh, a now monitor habitat and I asked you guys in a previous episode if you guys could help me out with a, an underwater viewing gallery. Or like a shady area and a viewing gallery and these are made by Andal and uh, I really like them there were a few of them actually that made really cool blueprints uh, but I chose the ones from Andal uh, because we didn't use that much yet from Andal but we did use this um, wall barrier with rocks and, and like awesome decorations and those are also made by Andal. So if you want to download these guys, then you can find them all in the description uh, with the collection list down below. But look at this. This is just really, really cool, isn't it? Do, do not cross, please. <laughs> we will not do that, Andal. Look at this with the waterfall. And then we have this really cool underwater viewing gallery right now. I really love this one, so thank you so much. And I, I have a few other ones, and I'm definitely gonna try to use them too. Well, not maybe for the uh, for the now monitor, but who knows, we might find some other spots for them, but they're really, really cool. And this one is also made by Andal. A really cool shady area with these parasols. I love this. It's so well made. It's so creative. It's really, really cool. So thank you so much. And we have some glass, as I said, like give them a little bit more privacy. So the guests are behind some glass. Look at the now monitors here. So we're going to prepare ourselves for a baby boom because the now monitors give a lot of babies. So we need to prepare for that. And I'm, I'm curious how many babies we will get, um, it's gonna be a mess, uh, totally, um, I'm 100% sure it's going to be a mess, but we have to wait until they get babies. And we have the tortoise right over here, they're just super amazing, and I'm really hoping that we will see some cute little, uh, algebra to- bra algebra- 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 algebra giant tortoise. <laughs> I really hope that we will see them one day. And uh, we need to fill up a lot of area still. This is obviously a backstage area. We can maybe squeeze in a cute building right over here to hide the ugliness away. I think we definitely need to hide some ugliness. Um, I think our zoo is actually doing pretty well. I'm curious how it is going with the guest needs. Um, then we need to check guest needs okay so there are a lot of things we need to take care of i'm going to pause the game for just a bit um okay the happiness is a little bit divided overall i i feel that it's not that bad actually okay this this is thirsty so we can check that right over here right so a lot of people are thirsty uh, a lot of people are thirsty. <laughs> Even in the Australian area where we have like a lot of different um, uh, trucks and stuff for, for drinks and for food. 
Oh my goodness. And here I was actually thinking like, maybe we should go for hard mode. No, 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 we're not going for hard mode right now because we do need to make sure that our guests will be happy with uh, the the zoo first like it is right now. Um, I'm actually curious how many of the blueprints we can use that have food and drinks in them. So we have a lot of Australian ones, which I actually don't want to pick at this point anymore. Like we're going into different areas of the zoo. We have a huge, beautiful shelter we're going to use today. This is made by Nathan Neck, uh, especially for the elephants, including a restaurant. Ooh, including a restaurant. That is going to be, ooh, uh, that is going to be amazing. Look at that. Okay, we're definitely going to use this one. And I think we're going to use it. Where's the... Okay, I think that should be an entrance for the elephants. Because it's a shelter for elephants. And it's a restaurant. At least that is what I uh, what I think it is. Um, I th Yeah, I think so. So this is going to be awesome. Because then we also have right away... Uh, a restaurant in this region. So that is going to be perfect actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, That's not in here Lainey. I'm going to go to no wait facilities. Yes, there you go I should go for the vending machines and we're just going to add a few vending machines I think for drinks in here um, Can we hide those away in the corners maybe? I think that could be nice. So we're going to have a pip shot one and a cosmic cow one or something. I think that could work. So we're going to just put one and you next to it. Okay, it's clipping through a little bit, but I think it's fine. It's fine. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. So I think I'm going to go, well, maybe an energy, gopi energy and pip shop smoothie. Um, we're going to add you and we're going to add you like that okay i think that's better actually i think we should do the same for these vending machines on this side like so okay i think that's better at least for their drinking needs so how about <laughs> the food needs i think their hunger it's it's not as bad as, as thirst is it no thirst is way worse uh, so hungry is okay. I think if we get a restaurant right over here, I think we're gonna be fine actually. Uh, how about toilets in this region? I'm not really sure if that building from Nathanek has toilets in it, but it's not that bad actually. I'm really surprised that that is pretty decent. It's pretty green over here. It's pretty orange in this section, but there is a toilet right over there. So that is going to be fine. Uh, I think toilet needs is actually pretty good. I'm surprised, but it is. Um, okay, so energy. Energy means that we need to add more benches and stuff. So it's very busy right over here. What about if we add some picnic benches on this area? Well, it's a pretty big area. Should we do that? I'm unsure if we should. Maybe we should just add some benches um, on the sides. Well, we could maybe just add a few picnic benches. Let's have a look. How is that going to look? I, th I think that could be fine. If I look at this, just like six or something. And they can rest, they can eat, but well, they if they br brought some food, they can eat here. <laughs> maybe we should add some vending machines here too. That could actually work because then they have food and drinks right over here. Do they need any food and drinks here? So that is for the energy food. Yeah, okay. Okay, that, that sounds pretty decent, actually. So we're going to add a pip shop. No, first I want to add food. So I think I'm going to go for chief beef. Yeah, let's just go for chief beef. Can we squeeze you in here? Oh no! Oh, we can here. Okay, I think that should be fine. So, a chief beef on that side and some hot dogs on the other side. And then we're gonna add some drinks. So, we're gonna add Pip Shop. 
Can we squeeze you in, please? Oh, shoo. Okay, we can't really squeeze in drinks next to it. Oh, that's such a pity. So we're just going to add a pip shop right over here. And well, we're not going to add drinks then on the other side. I think this uh, hopefully is enough. Like, obviously, the vending machines do not work. Oh, look how these people are using this. That's really amazing, actually. But the vending machines do not work as well as like real proper shops. So we need to keep that in mind. Uh, but they have a restaurant right over here. There are also vending machines on this side. So that is really nice. Oh, hello. Oh, yes. I hear my favorite sounds. <laughs> These guys. Oh, I love these sounds. I don't know why. It's just so hilarious. I really, really enjoy hearing these warthogs making sounds. They're just so funny. Oh my god. <laughs> there are so many sounds. <laughs> oh, we're getting offspring. Naughty, naughty Pumba. Oh my god, Naughty Naughty Pumba made both females pregnant already. This is just ridiculous. I just really love it. This is amazing. I love it. 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 Okay, you guys go and eat some food here. All right. All right. All right. Sorry. I just I, I just love these guys. Warthogs and Bungos are really my favorites of this game. They're just ridiculously funny. I love them. <laughs> Okay, so we have picnic benches that work fine here. We still do need some uh, some drinks here. It's uh, it's uh, yeah, it's bad actually. It's really really bad. They really need a proper drink drink shop or anything right over here. And I wonder if we have like food. Do we have something that's called drink? Oh, drink shops by Annika Naila. That one is really small. <gasps> Yeah, that was exact. That is exactly what I'm looking for because we do need something small. Um, I'm, I'm thinking to maybe squeeze that one in here. I think that looks the best so far. Uh, yeah. Okay. I I don't. I want to avoid it because this is like a main path, but I think that looks better in the end. So what do we have here? A pip shop water. Perfect. Okay, I like that. And I want to add just some bins on this side, maybe, well, on this side of the bridge. I think that's perfect, actually. Uh, so we do have two bins, and I think this is actually it. We're, we're going to fill this up with some, some trees and stuff. Like, maybe we can just squeeze in. Uh, that one is a little bit too big. Maybe something like that. And we just move that tree just a little bit because it looks a little bit wonky right now. Um, I think this is going to be fine, actually. That one is a little bit too big, maybe. Uh, can we just put you into the ground just a little bit and then just move these two in this smaller open section? Perfect. Okay, we now have one more drink shop right over here. And I think this, um, these guests are going to be really happy. I think one is definitely not enough. Um, but for now, we're just going to try and work with this. Like a lot of people are heading towards this drink. Oh my God, we need another one. Yeah, you're right. You're right. We need another one. I know. I know. Um, why are those people all so thirsty? Okay, this is the koala area. So the walking habitat for the koalas. Uh, is there maybe, can we maybe just squeeze in a few vending machines here? Because there, we definitely don't have any space. Uh, maybe we can just, uh, that is looking so ugly. Do we, can someone maybe make some covers? So like, if you want to put them down right over here, I'm going to put two next to each other. And I think that's the same size as just one, right? Or almost... No, it's, it is basically the same size. So if someone could make like a cover, like you can still maybe see the front or maybe like hide it away and only have these kind of things. I know there are people out there that are really good in those kind of small little details, like a cover up for like one vending machine or two like this or like one big vending machine. That will be amazing, actually. I think that will be super cool. 
I, I would like, I would love that. I would love that. I'm going to add two more on this side so we can just uh, squeeze them in on this side. Um, okay, okay, enough with vending machines at this point. Uh, we're definitely going to look at this uh, later again. Uh, but first, what I really want to do today, we are going to make a start of an elephant habitat. And I already have some elephants of the Frontier Zoo. There are, wow, there are so many in here right now. When I just checked, I tried to get some elephants and there was only one golden one. I think this is the one. Of 10,000, I was like, no. And the rest were all Frontier Zoo animals, four elephants only. And now, do we actually have two pages? I don't know how that happened, but it's fine. We already have cute elephants right over here. Why are you in here? I think I wanted to create chain you. I'm, I'm just gonna do that, just in case. I'm not really sure. We have four elephants in here, guys. So that is going to be amazing. We're going to add an elephant have his hat right over here and I actually want to use one not this one but someone made a very cool underwater viewing gallery and I think I want to use that one if we can together with the building of Nathan Egg um, I want to use that for uh, for the elephants because I love underwater viewing galleries for elephants they're just really insane and beautiful uh, oh hello <laughs> So we're definitely going to work on that. Uh, I'm going to wait until the next morning. Wait, is this already the next morning? No, it's going to be evening. So I'm going to wait until the next morning and then I'm going to start building our African elephant habitat. Guys, stay tuned.
Ladies and gentlemen, we now have the African elephant. We're, we're running in our zoo. Obviously, this habitat is far from finished yet, but it's humongous. So I'm going to split it into two episodes because it's just ridiculously big. But I just really felt like doing so because of uh, Meilin Zoo. If you remember, if you've seen that series, that was my first Planet Zoo series. I had a huge habitat of uh, four. I'm not really sure. If, no, those, those were the Asian elephants. So now we have the African elephants. And I just really, really wanted to do something big again with an underwater viewing gallery. And for those that are like, why would you make an underwater viewing gallery for an elephant? Because you have a few zoos that actually have that. And it's ridiculously amazing. So let me just show you guys real quick. Over here, we have the underwater viewing gallery, which was actually made of 40 now monitors. And this one is made by Marty Plart. Thank you so much for this awesome viewing gallery. This is also added in the collection down below. But as you may have seen in the speed build video, it is actually only this section. And I duplicated it to make a huge underwater viewing gallery right over here and it also is a little bit of shady area so i do really love that oh i totally forgot we need to make sure that all these i'm not really sure if there are speakers actually already added in this blueprint i actually don't think so so we should add some blueprints and also change the signs uh blueprints the speakers i mean uh, so yeah, we have this underwater viewing gallery. Now, obviously, there's not that much to see right now, but hopefully when the elephants go and have an awesome swim, we will see them. Now, this thing, I need to say, I never used it. I never used it because I just never really know how I should use it. But I just wanted to add it. I've never seen the animations, so hopefully one day we will see these awesome animations. And obviously it's for the elephants. So in this franchise mode series, I don't really mind. But I think overall for a sandbox series, I think it's just too big. It's humongous. Okay, there we go. There we go. This is hopefully going to be as awesome as I want it to be. Like, imagine if you haven't seen elephants swimming. I highly recommend to watch that in a YouTube video. It's really amazing. Elephants really love to swim. So this is just exactly how I wanted it to be. Like, this is just super cool. And imagine they're really going to dive a little bit and play in the water. That is just going to be awesome. I love this viewing. This is just super cool. So yeah, this one definitely works. Uh, so I'm really happy with that. But there's more! There's a huge building right over here. So let me show you guys this humongous building. So we have another facility building right over here. Uh, you guys are able to get out of here, right? You're just... Oh, shoot. Okay. Um, no, they're not. I need to uh, make sure that we move the rocks around. They're just super sensitive when it comes down to rocks. So... Oh, oh we're still in a building. Can you now? Yes, thank you. And you too? Okay, perfect. Okay. Uh, that one is injured, so hopefully a vat will uh, take care of that really soon. So we have a male and three females in here. Ah, oh, gosh, I really love this. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna love this habitat when it's finished, definitely. Now this building, ladies and gentlemen, this building is ridiculous. Beautiful. Nathan Egg. You really, really... I was looking at this building when I was connecting the path. Now, that is a little bit of a struggle, but really worth worth the struggle, definitely. Oh my freaking god, just look at this building, guys. That is just insanely beautiful. I love this so much. So, we have a Hats Fantastic and Information Stand right over here. We have Chief Beef and Gulpy right over here. We have toilets right over here on this side, which is really, really useful. And then we have like an, in, uh, an, an, an indoor habitat for the elephants. So you can see them actually sleep or take a shade. Um, 
which is just really, really cool. Um, we need to make sure that we also add some speakers inside here. Uh, there are a lot of signs here. There are even conservation signs. That's really useful. Thank you, because I always forget. Look at this one. This is... I didn't even see it. Oh my freaking god. That is insane. That is beautiful. That is really, really beautiful waterfall. And then they have another viewing inside to have it. This is insane. You can download this building yourself too. If you want to use it for your zoo, I highly recommend it. It's so beautiful. And then we have a terrace right over here. Oh, I love it. I love this so much. This is really, really an awesome building. It's super inspiring. All oh, the palm trees, Nathan Egg. You really, really did an incredible job with this one. Well done. Leave a like in the video, guys, if you agree. Like, honestly, this is insane. This is really insane. It's gorgeous. So, okay, the elephant habitat. We're going to add... I'm going to pause just, just a bit for the, for the lag. You can tell that this building is pretty big. <laughs> Uh, I just added like these uh, things right over here just for now because I was like, okay, let's make sure that the elites walk around, but we're going to uh, make this look nice and pretty. So what I want to have, I want to have another viewing gallery right over here. I'm actually not sure. Maybe we can um, use my viewing gallery I've made. How do you look? Um... I've made this one for Malin Zoo. Oh, that's actually not bad, is it? That could be really cool. I, it only is, doesn't really fit this theme. So actually what I'm looking for is something similar like this. Could also be in the same size. I'm not really sure. I think I added the size in the blueprint in the workshop. Um, but something that fits more to this building, so more bright and more concrete or anything like that. I think that could be perfect. And then another one for this side. They don't have to be like this wide. Like what this size is actually perfect. Uh, but it, it doesn't really have to be the exact same size, of course. It can be like a four meter wide path and then like five times or six times in width and two or three going in the back. I think using the four meter uh, grid is the best thing to do in this case. Oh, man, this is gonna be awesome. Look at this beauty. Wow, Nathanic, I am really, really blown away by this one. That is insane. Dennis, this is insane. And I would love to say like, guys, if you wanna build something similar like this for a different type of animal, um, I would say go ahead, but obviously we need to make sure that it's not going to be too many pieces because else this zoo will soon be unplayable and we can't enjoy it anymore. So yeah, if you want to go for these type of buildings, I say to go for it. Like obviously other people can also use it, uh, but for me to be able to use it a little bit of less piece, I have no idea how many pieces this is. I really have no idea. We could maybe try and give get an idea. No, it's only counting objects. No, it's not gonna work. Uh, oh man, I love this so much. I wish I could like add a 100 of these type of buildings in here, but I, th I don't think it's going to work. Honestly, I'm really, really happy so far already with this type of habitat. Um, it's going to take some time. The next episode, we're going to finish this off. Is there any animal we can combine this to? Because they don't really have, like, this uh, interspecies bonus. But I wonder, is there, like, uh, some animal... Oh, hi! <laughs> is there an animal that we can combine this to? I really have no idea. That would be really cool, actually. Why can't I just select this tree? I'm just trying to... Oh, there you go. I just want to raise it because the elephants are clipping through a little bit, which is fine, but I don't know. I just feel like I, I, find, I find it more realistic to do this. Is that also working as a shelter? Hi. <laughs> oh, I love this. Um, is that working as a shelter? Like those big trees? Oh, I don't think so. Does it count any shelter? Oh yeah, okay. That is count as a shelter. 
awesome. Oh my god. Okay, so they have a food, uh, this tree scatter. Uh, I wonder, um, who knows why I am uh, laughing uh, hard about this thing. Uh, tell me in the comments if you do know what I am referring to. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, we have food. We have a mud bath, which we're going to hide away. We're probably going to add a little bit more water on one side. Unless we just keep it like this, because then they will actually use this on a water viewing gallery. That might work. Maybe we just have like a really shallow thing so they can drink from it, but not swim from it. So if they want to swim, they still go to this side. I, I actually think that would be amazing. God, I love this building. Oh my god, Nathan, like, this is just insane. I really, really love this building. Thank you so much for creating this one, and I highly recommend anyone to download this one too. Anyways, we're far in already in this episode, so I think we just have to wrap it up right now. Uh, please do let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of this first part of the African elephant habits had. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed, and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And if you want to support the channel a little extra, you may want to consider to become a FaithFan member with the link down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I really, really hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye, guys!